word. Welcome to the B side word. I am one of the hosts, Devin Legaspi, with Emma. So formal. Hello. With CJ. Hello. And Maxi. How's it going? We are a group of friends or hosts that discuss <laughs> interesting articles. So we're no longer friends. Oh, we're, we're not. We're not friends anymore. We're just hosts. <laughs> we're host friends. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you saying? <laughs> We're with... froze. <laughs> We're froze. <laughs> We're not... And our first article, Ems, is... All right. Okay. So this article is basically about how if you swear, you are more honest as a person than if you don't swear. Thoughts, please? I only know... Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's f***ing unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Is this whole article just going to be beep? Yep. Beep? Yep. Beep, beep. I f***ing think so. Oh, my goodness. Get the fuck out of here. You know what? I got I to gotta say, with the with the tradesmen I work with, yes. right, they're pretty, like, if they don't like you, they're pretty upfront, and there's a lot of... F bombs and C words and what uh, towards you? Like they aim it at you if they don't like. You. They're like you are. If this. you're if you're making them angry or if there's been a um uh, an incident and they're mm-hmm. like F off. Yeah, yeah, it's like they get it off their chest and the next day is a brand new day. Wow. No harboring any ill ill will, but I noticed. I don't know if this is true, but in the office, there's a lot more politics. And um, it's sort of like you don't know where you stand sometimes. Oh, like in an office environment just based on... Yeah. Right. Yeah, like in office it. Okay, because I can't imagine going to a job, like say with like what you do, like as a tradie, and then having to be prepared for battle. What? <laughs> what battle? <laughs> verbal. Like verbal battling. Like just you're this, you're quick this, wit. you're this. You mean quick this. wit? Whatever, I'm not sure. Like with the swearing, whatever you say, you just said they, they drop the C-bombs, they drop whatever. I can't imagine that. They're pretty that. honest. I'm just saying they're honest in the way that they feel about people. So you never think, oh, what, you know your place, basically. Yeah, you know where you stand. I'd rather know where I stand than uh, guess. See, for a guy that's worked in both fields, I can actually, yeah, in the office environment, it's a lot more, Political. Political, definitely. And you kind of always have to be on the edge because you're not sure where Walking you on eggshells yeah. all the time? Yeah. Well, back in the construction, well, you can tell someone to F off. Imagine, if, imagine. If he doesn't like it, he can tell you to F off. Imagine you, you can do that in like in the office. You go, you, oh. you're pissing me off, mate. You, you're pissing, piss mate, off mate, for a Take bit. a step back and one headbutt you. Yeah. <laughs> and you go, tomorrow's a new what? day. <laughs> oh my God. Tomorrow's a new day. We'll come back tomorrow. But if you piss me off again, piss off again. Yeah, you don't. Why really do you have to link? Why is why is swearing always linked so much with to violence? A, a, a violence. I, like, that I no no. I guess agree it's just with in, you, my, Maxie. in my in my like, environment. It always <laughs> leads to a violent. Like it always goes swearing, swearing, swearing. Oh yeah, let's take it outside type thing. Like why? Because there's emotion connected to those yeah. words, isn't there? There's a lot of emotion connected to. So those. the people that don't swear don't have emotions with what no, they no, say. No, they're robots. They're holding it within. See, and this is what because think? I don't, I don't swear. Well, we'll talk to Matt. Like, what do you think? I guess, I guess the because the the people that don't swear, they probably can, they're better at articulating their thoughts and emotions, so they don't need to swear. Whereas if you swear, it's like there's it's more primal. Well, there's more emotions hooked into those words, right? Like the F word means so many emotions. Like yeah. it just doesn't mean one emotion. Yeah, you can like, be happy. You can say F off and mean like eight different things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I met this girl last night. F off. <laughs> 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 she was hot. F off. Get the F out of here. You know? <laughs> and, and then there's I like, want to get to know her. F off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then there's like, F off. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a lot of Back emotion. The F off. Yeah. There's a lot of. <laughs> Different emotions can connected to one word. Yeah, Dep- depends on how it's delivered. But you're right, Maxi. You're right. There is a lot of. Uh, it goes from talking zero to hundred real quick. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But I wonder. I wonder with this study because it says the study they did it was uh, there's only two hundred and seventy six people, which is a pretty bad study. Yeah. Uh, the one we're looking at here. Yeah. I often hear people that are swearing more honest, but. 
how do you measure how honest somebody is anyway? Like mm. on on us if you put on a survey, are you honest? The people that say yes are mostly liars. Are probably <laughs> the dishonest people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm honest. And the people that say no, uh, are they also the dishonest people? <laughs> I feel like the people that say no are probably no, no, no. more likely the people to be that honest. Say no, are most likely the more honest people. Because <laughs> no yeah. one's ever truly honest. I think this study is okay, Maxi, because it says uh, study two seventy six people in a lab and um, seventy three thousand in, in a lab. Yeah, in a lab, and then this, and it also studied the social interactions of almost seventy four thousand people on Facebook. Ah, oh. as well. Okay. So I guess what people were posting and the profanity usage, etc. I'm not sure. All right, here's a question: Would you rather know where you stand in a in a in a workplace environment or a social environment, or would you rather play the mind games? I don't like mind games, um, and I'd prefer to know where I'd stand. But does that mean that it has to be like involved swearing and no, stuff? No, it just has to be. It's it's gonna include confrontation. Yeah. I don't say I don't like confrontation. Like, see, would you prefer someone to go? I don't like you at all. I think you're a terrible person. I don't want to know you. Oh, I'd be so. I'm sad. not having lunch with you. Yeah, because I just don't oh, like you. You suck. You I suck. call you crying, saying they don't want to have lunch with me. So you don't want to be honest. Yeah, you'd so rather you not have, be honest. Have a, I don't want to know. Don't yeah. tell me if you hate me. It would just make me upset. I think there's there's, there's a there's a balance. I don't think. Like when people say, "I wasn't being rude; I was being honest," they're not mutually exclusive events. You can be rude and honest at the same time. The way but often it, yeah. you don't. You don't need to be rude. Like, yeah, for me, you don't. Re- There's some things that uh, you can be left unsaid, and it doesn't necessarily like it, a lot of things people say that are just tend to be confrontational people. Yeah, where it doesn't add value to anything. Right. Apart from so their there's ego. no point in them saying it. Yeah. And also, but then oh, I mean, it doesn't help the situation. You're saying it just doesn't help the situation. Yeah, like so, if someone says you're a terrible person, I don't want to eat lunch with you. But you didn't have to say you're a terrible, you're a terrible person. person first. You just say I don't want to so have maybe? lunch with you. Like you can say I re- I remember really clearly actually when I was in like my college, so I was about 17 years old, and there was a girl that was very sort of loud. Bub- call, you can call her bubbly, but she's like she's very sort of self centered as well. So she's always you know like talk about herself and she wants to take she wants to take control of every situation and a guy said to her like you're like a great person and everything but i'm just i'm just not on your level like i can't keep up with you like we can't you know i'm gonna eat lunch over here <laughs> and then she took it as like a compliment because she was so much like better than him oh. almost that's like how she took it so what are you saying she was like oh he, she will shut he up. can't keep up with me <laughs> yeah she was like she was like oh he can't keep up with me but i'm gonna carry and do my thing she he was like look you do you i'm happy if you do you but it's just it, conflict with who i am so i'm gonna be like over here you know i'm I'm moving and i was just like i don't know it wasn't that he was gonna move he said he didn't want to go to something she invited him to yeah he said it in that way and i was was like that's a really very diplomatic i just say i'm washing my hair there's a problem there's a problem (laughs) so he could have said you're a terrible person (laughs) yeah and i don't want to go with you yeah (laughs) okay that's a really good way to say it I wonder how long he thought about that. Like, was he thinking about how can I say no to her party? But, but, but isn't that a little bit dishonest? Wouldn't you ever like be told like? No, it's pro- like that's actually the, no, but it's the truth. His conflict. He said he didn't. He his, said he didn't like her in a way, you know. Yeah, but he. She conflicts I with think, him. I think the whole purpose. It's you don't have to be rude when you're saying something. You can say nice no, thing. Like, sorry, me and you just you know. Yeah, I want to hear this speech. Go I, on. I just don't like you in that way. I feel I should have lunch by myself, and you have lunch by yourself. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't ask. And you didn't ask him out on a date. <laughs> I don't want to be. I, I don't want to go out with you. All right. <laughs> I could do better. <laughs> You're annoying as hell. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of you. Um. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I got the whole thing. What? No. What it was was there was group work, and she asked him to go in his group. That's what oh, it was. We were going to be in the groups together. There was like groups of four or five. And she was like, you can come with us. And he said, I don't want to be with you. Oh. You're, too ener- you're too energetic kind of thing. Has that ever happened to any of us? What? It's just like, I don't like you. Has that ever been said to Not anyone to my here? face. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. To like, face. Yeah. No, but not like a girlfriend, I, boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Not a what? girlfriend, boyfriend. Why would I have just a like that, that, that. <laughs> well, I'm in the morning. That, like that setting. It's like a group. And then just like a group says, a person in a group goes, you're not part of this group anymore. Oh, like, that's what I'm seeing with the girls at school because I'm on my placement at the moment. And there was a couple girls crying and she was just like, 
she said she doesn't want to play with me and I can't have lunch with her. And they're like six, seven year olds. And it's like heartbreaking because they're like, <gasps> <laughs> you're way too soft, Em. <laughs> well, that's, it's like, oh. And Kids it, are going to argue and I know, fight. but yep. they're just so mean. Kids to each mean. other. Kids are mean. You Mainly w- the girls. You, you want to work in an industry when children <laughs> yeah. are young, so they're going to be mean. I you know. have to toughen up. <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> we'll help them resolve them, but, it, but it's just like, oh, poor things. Like, why do they put them... So, why do they do this at this they're age? children. Maxi, do you think the S word is a swear word? Which word? S word. S. Four shit. letters. Oh, okay. Oh, well, there you go. Shit. Because over um, in Australia, yes. they don't consider it a swear word. They say on radio... They say it everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. But I'm like, that's a swear word. Don't say that in front of the kids. Like, that's a swear word. But they don't consider For that me, a it goes, swear word. It here. goes the C word, the F word, then the S word. In that order Ooh. are the, the main swear words. The C word. Is the worst, the worst. The C word C. is like the biggest it, one. The F yeah. word's the next biggest. And so then yeah. the S word is the... Because I, I actually heard this on a radio show of an English guy who migrated from England to Australia. Mm. He goes, he, he met a couple of Australian guys and they called him a sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, he was like... Why are you calling me this for? Like, like, <laughs> like, that is, what, did I, what did I do to you? I, was, I thought it was being, I thought it was being nice. It's like, man, it's a term of endearment. Yeah, right. And he's like, really? What's the term of endearment? S, uh, like sick C. Oh, yeah, right. He goes, we say it as a. T- well, he's uh, yeah, yeah. We say it as a term of endearment. He's like, but where I'm from, it's really bad. Yeah. He goes, but he's been here for a few years now. He's used to it. We went back home. <laughs> Dig a punch in the face and. He's, he's let it slip out a couple of times. And people have just looked at him like, what? And another word they say here is the B word, just on air, oh, like on so radio. Where, is, where does the B word um I think rank the B word your... is higher than the S word. Really? I, I, I think. How is there a rating on these swear words? Hey, there is. There is a I rating. Think it, I think it's like, do you know when someone says it? Like, say if you're sat in your office, DJ, and someone said a swear word, it's about how much you go, oh. Like, oh, yeah. gosh. I, I, I work near a security team. I don't even yeah. get phased. <laughs> Oh, okay. But you know what I mean? Okay, so if you're watching your prime minister talk and he said one of them, <laughs> I how would you be like, whoa. <laughs> so our prime minister has probably used the S word. Yeah. Why? He, he sworn a couple of times. He sworn a couple of times. He goes to the footy and he follows the sharks. He sworn yeah. a couple of times. Because I, I... I think the... Oh, go on. I, I was, I was going to say, because like I told... I was telling a story. Remember when I was telling the story and I dropped the C word and you... Yes. And your reaction, it like Alexander so and for. Maxi and you were like... <gasps> and I was like... <laughs> I was even fighting. I was like, oh, I was like, continue wrong group, st- wrong group. <laughs> continue, <laughs> it continue, was so uncalled for. <laughs> I was just story. like, what, how could you drop that word right now? <laughs> I, I've heard a guy use it, you magnificent. Yeah. C word. Yeah. I, I, I use that word a lot when I was at university. Did you? I, I, yeah. It's just, I think it's more, I, I don't think it's m- as much as a country thing. I think it's more the type of people you have. Yeah. Just like your when you group. say someone from England doesn't like the word, it's not because they were from England. It's because of who they were with when yeah. they were in England. Mm. But my, um, I think the the reason the B word is not bad for me is because my grandma like used to do like race dogs and stuff. And she always referred to the yeah. female dogs as yeah. bitches, like always. So yeah. I was just like, that's just what it is. Like that's, I think that before I think of something else. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Like we had race I mean, I, I, oh, really? Yeah, so. I, yeah, like I get that, but that's not how a lot of people say it. No, it? that's not how they're using it. No. Like, I would rather be called, I think, I think I would, I feel like I'm offending someone more if I call them a dog than if I call them a bitch. Yeah. That's another one. Ooh, dog. Just because calling has, someone a dog that has is another meaning. A, a, dog, a dog is extremely <laughs> loyal and faithful. And faithful to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's and, weird. Oh, yeah. It's always yeah. weird. It always will show you unconditional love. Uh, that's, that's so you know, true. Like you lock a dog in uh, a cupboard for four hours, right? And you take him out of the cupboard, that dog will lick your face and want to be with you the whole time. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a sad story. No, I'm but just saying how, how don't loyal. Do it, viewers. No, don't do that. But I'm just saying how loyal a dog is. Yeah. Uh, a dog will love you, you unconditionally. Just, that's so true, yeah. But also that phase, I think that's only for men. Like they're like, you dog. Like like they would <laughs> never say it to a woman. How would they say it? You, you dog. No, how would they say it? No, or, they, wait, men. They'd say like. Men wouldn't say it to a woman, did you say? Not a dog. They'd say the B word. No, to a woman. but the. I never call a man a dog. I've never ever thought about calling. I think a man that's a dog. the worst. If you call a man a dog, it's like you're a dog. Like you just dogged really? me. Like you, you just, dog the boys. Like you've but gone like, against. Again, how does it make sense? It doesn't know. make sense. Loyal. 
So I've never, I've never heard of that. Hey, never oh, heard that was a big thing. You're, you're, my, you're my dog. <laughs> well, that's right. It just depends how you say What's it. What's right? up, dog? Yeah. You say have an A W D A W. Oh my dog! <laughs> dog. My dog! <laughs> dog. <laughs> He's my dog, man. <laughs> Just to reiterate, please do not yes. just start swearing at your uh, place of work <laughs> or worship. But anywhere else. <laughs> worship? <laughs> don't Definitely don't do it there. Can I do the sermon, please? <laughs> Get the F out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Dumbass dog. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This week on Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting better. It's Liked getting better. that one. That was good. It. Okay, so my fact this week, I think you're going to like Emma. Oh, no. It's up your street. Oh, I'm going to so, like or I'm not going to like? You're going to like. Oh, yay. Okay. I think. I hope. You might already know the fact. Anyway, Ooh. so Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of England and Australia and many other places. <laughs> Uh, when <laughs> she was 16, <laughs> mm-hmm. she trained as something. Can you guess what she trained as? Equestrian. Equestrian. Nope. Oh. It wouldn't be a fact if I said the Queen of England did equestrian. As a nurse. Oh. Um, yes, she was a nurse. No. <laughs> well. I love the bluntness. Of <laughs> like to be honest with you, I thought I was right then. The way that Emma said yes, it was a nurse. <laughs> I, I, thought, like, I, I, thought, I got uh, that right. <laughs> Maxie, hit us up. Wait, no. Let me wait. Wait one sec. One sec. Let me just think about this really hard because I have watched the 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 first few episodes. This is not a ten minute article. Okay, okay, but let me just one second. She trained us something. You know, silence isn't a friend of radio. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. She, she uh, trained as a mechanic. That's incredible. Would you got that? So she's nah. where she learned the basics of truck repair. Uh, she knows how to change a tire, fix engines and drive ambulances. Oh, she, she does. She, so she's not even um, like a normal mechanic. She's a plant mechanic. She's a, like a diesel, like a truck mechanic. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's what it said. I can, I can imagine you stopped in your car and this little old lady goes, move out, move out the way. I didn't like. know that. And she gets a little body in there. <laughs> I'll fix it. <laughs> she, be a, she looks you pretty good really at being good a mechanic because she can get her hands in like yeah. the, the awkward all, places. Like, like the driver goes, man, mom, this car's broken down. Let me at it. Close up a sleeve. <laughs> and and, and, and takes, takes the valves off. Waves at the crowd. <laughs> That mask can't fix the car. I gotta do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> a queen's job is never done. <laughs> 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 Fixes the car. Everyone looks at him like, serious? <laughs> it was the battery, you dumbass. <laughs> and just drives off. She turned real Aussie there at the end. <laughs> yeah. She got she got she got pretty um, you know, Westy. Honing into her com- Aussie Commonwealth side. Uh. Oh, nice. Good she fact. goes, she nice goes Aussie a bit when she does a mechanical yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, she gets blokey. Far <laughs> <laughs> out. Right. That was a great fact, Max. I like Thank that fact. Thank you. My boots go to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> This next article, Maxi, take it away. Okay, so my article this week is about, do you see how McDonald's have introduced um, paper straws? Yes. Is that happening in Australia as well? Um, Some of them. Some of them have started. Have they? No, not not where I've got Maccas from. Yeah. I haven't seen any. Me neither. Okay. Well, uh, so I bounce between the UK and Norway and everywhere I go in McDonald's have paper straws, which isn't that often, but often enough. Yeah. Anyway, so obviously it's a great for the environment, right? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. actually, switching in the to, UK... Switching to the paper straws. Paper. Yeah. Yeah. So actually in the UK, McDonald's used to recycle all of their plastic straws, but the way the paper straws are made, they can't actually recycle them. So at the moment, Why? all of their paper straws in the UK are going straight to landfill. But okay, so hang on. So you wouldn't be able to recycle it because it's all wet and soggy. Is that Why? 
Yeah, it says McDonald's says the material are recyclable, but their thickness makes it difficult for them to be processed. Um, so I'm not fully sure of exactly why they can't be at the moment. Like in the UK, basically, they can't recycle. They can't reuse the straws. But in Norway, for instance, they can reuse the straws. Oh. The, the paper ones. So the, the process in the UK at the moment can't accommodate the paper straws. So by moving to paper straws, they're actually going to be adding... It's what is uh 1.8 million straws a year. Oh no, well, 1.8 million straws a day in what? the UK. What? Are they saying the paper straws are too thick? To recycle? To recycle? Not too th- no, not too thick. They're saying they're too thin, if anything. They're too thin. They're saying they're too thin and they're in an awkward shape and they're hard to recycle. So okay. at the moment, but the, the, the process means they just go to landfill instead. But if like they're in like, the land and it's paper, is that just not going to break down and biodegrade if it's paper? I mean, it still takes a very long time and it still means you have to dig up a big piece Area. of land, put a load of paper in it and then fill it over. And if the paper takes up more of that land, that's a bad thing. Because it will biodegrade in the future, but today it will be paper still. Man, but, you know, I, but I thought the plastic straws weren't recyclable, the plastic ones. But you're saying they used to be recycled? Yeah, they used to be recycled. It's not the plastic straws themselves weren't necessarily bad. Actually, they were bad in some ways. There's two, there's a double-edged sword. The one producing plastic is um, bad. Like how you make plastic, you need oil and it's quite energy intensive process. And then on the flip side, if it goes recycling, it's good. But most people in McDonald's... They, d- they just put it in the bin. And then it was la- yeah, ending like it up in It doesn't always the... make it. And then that's that's much worse for the environment if it yes. goes into... The sea. Uh, the, the sea. And, which is inevitably where... I, th- I don't know what the prediction is, but a straws... The reason straws are such a big thing is because they had a significantly higher rate of what ended up in the sea compared to other plastics. Like bigger plastics get caught earlier. Mm-hmm. But um, straws, it's so easy just to like miss the bin. And then it just <laughs> ends on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Gets blown into a river. And yeah. The river takes it down into the ocean and then you eat it in your salmon. I mean, I still feel think overall the paper one is better because it will end up degrading. Let's see, even if it goes into the ocean, it's probably gonna break up and just dissolve event like it's better if it ends up in the ocean, but if it ends up in like where we deal with um landfill. Garbage, landfill, then it's worse because you can't do anything with it. In the mm. UK, at the moment. So long term, it's going to be better. But short term, it's a bit weird that they made the decision to do it so quickly when basically now they just chuck a load of extra straws in landfill. It's, uh, it sucks when you try to do something good and then it just doesn't work out. At, like they, they're trying to... Clean up the environment. Yeah, and they're trying good. to do their little bit to help and well, it just... We, me and Aiden, <coughs> my son, went and got a boost juice today, which is just like a uh, smoothie place. And for the first time, it's like, please feel free not to take a lid. But then I was thinking, oh, yeah, maybe I'll just get one without a lid, right? Um, but I was thinking, okay, my son, he might spill it. But then she didn't even offer me no lid. So it's like they have the option, like they've got a little sign you know, feel free not to take a lid, whatever. Every every little bit helps. But then she just put a lid on straight away, like, and didn't ask. Whereas she just said... Does Boost Juice have a, um, uh, like, a coffee cup sort of situation? Like a um, reusable cup? Like, you know those coffee cups? Oh, yeah, cups? you know, you can buy your own, I think. Yeah, you can and buy... And it's got its own lid, eh? Yes. It's like mm. a proper lid. Silicone or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, she just gave it to me. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll take it. But if she'd have said it at that moment whilst handing it to me, do you want to go without? I'd have probably said, oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go without. Let's do that. It's it's kind of hard when they put it on, on your smoothie already. Yeah, you can't and just And then go, I'm like, oh, well, you've already, it's already, so that's going to be wasted anyway. And then, yeah, you know, I'll just take it then because it's got my <laughs> smoothie you, on it. Ima- like, Could you imagine she, the guy, the person takes it off Emma's one and then puts it on the, the next the, one, the, which next is like one. a different uh, uh, smoothie. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> That one's flavor. got mango and mine is berry. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot mix. Yeah, um. mango and berry is good. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, there's a few initiatives in um, in 
in Sydney where they will give you free coffee if you bring a mug or your key oh, cup. Oh, the petrol station. I think uh, it's... Um, before that, before the petrol stations, there are places in like Surrey Hills and Newtown and stuff. They go, fill up as many coffees as you want. You just have to bring your own. That's so cool. I actually like the keep cup. We do have a couple. My thing with the keep cup is if you like take it to work or work in the city or whatever and you've used it and now it's dirty and then so if you take it to the next place will they clean it out for you or are they like no Wash it. bring it to me Wash it. Wash where it. like say you're on the let's say you're in like on a car journey yeah. trip whatever and you've got cuz I I use keep cups I take one every day and I wash it cuz we've got a kitchen there but for someone that's in the um Buy a plastic bottle full of water and, and just then rinse it out <laughs> that way. <laughs> Sorry. Plastic. Sorry. Buy a plastic bottle full of water. Yeah, that's what I. <laughs> oh, I was late to the we party. Can't, we can never get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> We're addicted to plastic. I mean, what, what is the alternative? Of what? Like, is there. Like, you can't have paper paper bottles, can you? Like, what's. No. The, what so can after, we. After a while, the water or the drink will just go through it. Glass. Yeah. So glass what? Glass is good. Gla- yeah. Go back to glass. But then again, glass is expensive, and in like in a drinking like a bar area, you don't want people to have glass when they've been intoxicated. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because some Wait, poor bugger um, in the corner. Get... Bamboo is good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sugarcane. Um, and that grows fast. Like bamboo is really good. Um, hemp is really good. A coconut yeah. shell. Can, can you use hemp as hemp and bamboo as a container, like a to replace the bottles? The only thing with yeah, bamboo, it, it won't come in. Like when you think of bamboo, it's not going to be like a bamboo, um, like vine. Yeah, yeah. With <laughs> yeah. Stuck with something on the bottom, you know, <laughs> to make it a cup. It will be broken down and then repurposed. Like, okay. It will be, yeah, but we've okay. got so a you couple. Won't necessarily know it's bamboo. Like you look at me like, what is this made of? It'll feel like some weird composite. You're like, it doesn't feel like plastic. It doesn't feel like, it'll feel like a kind of coarse. It almost feels like if you merge plastic and paper together, it will kind of have that. I don't know how, that Are helps. there companies doing this already? Yeah, for sure. But like, oh. so we've got bamboo, bamboo like bamboo serving room. bowls. And when they get wet, they split. So I don't know. What, what, what? We've got okay. some bamboo serving bowls. Oh. Yeah, and when they get wet, they kind of hemp. Split. Hemp on the other hand feels... A lot like plastic, I think, when it's when it's made in a certain way, or when it's thinner, then it feels more like paper. Okay. So you grow hemp, and and uh, uh, actually, I think it's probably going to feel more like paper than plastic. But when it's thicker, it's quite solid. And hemp's like to make paper out of hemp, it uses like about ten percent of what it takes, ten percent of the area that it would take to grow a forest to make the same amount of paper. And it also happens a lot quicker and it also takes more CO2 out of the air and it also produces more oxygen. So it's just like, hemp is amazing, basically, when you compare it to... Hemp is pot. That's, is, that, is that where hemp's from? Pot? Weed? It's the I'm same s- plant, I think, but I don't know yeah. if it's like a different part of it or it's just processed in a different it's way. It's the plant or... that just keeps on giving, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just... And if you break your bowl, you can smoke it. <laughs> 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 Good times not around. <laughs> what are you doing? Just burning my hemp plate? <laughs> <laughs> what? It fell on the floor. So smoke time. <laughs> when I was um I remember being like quite young and um my my mum saying like something about I really didn't like doing the dishes. Like I hated it. So I was like, can't we just buy uh paper plates? And she's like, No, because it's super wasteful. And I was like, Well can't when we buy food, can't the plate just be part of the food? <laughs> And then when we finish the, you know, finish the food, you just you eat just the plate. Eat and it. Got no dishes. <laughs> Everything was resource like resourceful. That's sounds, such a good idea. Like a have, you, have you been to uh, a tropical island, Maxi, where they use the banana leaves as the plate? Have you ever or been to? And I, I know okay. what you mean. I don't think I've had it myself. No, guys, that's, let that's me clear awesome. something up. Hemp, both hemp and marijuana are varieties of the cannabis sativa, but. Hemp contains less delta nine tetro something or other, which is THC, which is the psychoactive substance in marijuana. So you cannot use hemp as a recreational product. Can you smoke it after you? No, watch, watch because us try. it doesn't have <laughs> what, the same psychoactive <laughs> substance. I think hemp oil. Hemp oil is different, isn't it? Yeah, and there's clothing you can make out of. Yeah, like, but they only recently uh, allowed people to use hemp in Australia. In the last, 
uh, six or eight months. Because I was yeah. scared some dumbass like me would smoke it. Well, it's <laughs> edible. It's not, it's it's not hemp is edible. And you're not going to get the same as you would with marijuana is basically what we're saying. It doesn't have the same But thing. would it have like um, pain, help you, help you, help oh, you with pain sure. or anything? There sure. is hemp medicine, but I don't know. Like pain with pain management? I, I don't know. Wait, we can't say it's medicine. No, there is hemp medicine. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Why can't you say it's medicine? Because is it because proven? Is it because proven? If it's called hemp medicine, that's its name. <laughs> I, I, I know, no, but I, 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 I thought hemp just recently came... In Australia, in Australia, it just came out. I think so. It came out and goes, "I'm hemp. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm, hey, uh, I'm Moana's cousin. Hey I'm here t- for a good time." <laughs> hey, you twist my words is incredible. Honestly, <laughs> you need a sick mind to think like this. <laughs> yeah. So oh. they are, they're from the same plant, but it's so, no, from the same family, basically. So how thing. do you recycle hemp? Like, if we made hemp straws, could that possibly be a thing? I don't know, but you light them up past the hemp. a friend of mine <laughs> posted in the um, recycling Facebook group I'm in for new, like, organic confetti, because confetti is one of the worst. Um, yeah, you're telling, yeah. Right? So you get a leaf or a few different leaves and different color Why leaves. Why you just throw rice? And use a hole punch. And then you just get, you just take as many hole punches as you can and then empty the thing and it's all this confetti and you just, ooh, and it's just plants. But then it oh. wasn't a green. No, but it's it because you can get like brown leaves, like yes, different but, color. But fl- when you crack a leaf open, there's like a little bit of like liquid, like like a almost like a what's it, like, like a, a sap? sap? Like, sap. Yeah, like a gel. Only if it's like not all leaves, not all well, of the majority them. Majority of them. So like if you go to someone's wedding and you're throwing up all these little <laughs> gel things. I can imagine someone's dress being all green, like stains. And uh no, because I think you prepare it beforehand, not just like. So. Besides, no, no. So it's besi- dried out. Thank you for that. Is that <laughs> is uh? Can we have hemp straws? Oh, I don't know. Yes, that, yes. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll double check. Hemp straws. Pass the hemp to the yeah, left you can, hand uh, side. <laughs> yes. The, oh, actually, oh, know. there's hemp bedding. There's bamboo straws, but I'm sorry, it's going to hemp straws. Yeah. Warning. So if McDonald's is listening, and I expect you are. <laughs> um, possibly invest in uh, some hemp or bamboo straws. Could you imagine they actually just get the bamboos and then you're just drinking out of this massive bamboo? <laughs> like a panda. <laughs> I like that just like a bit. panda. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many times you've seen a panda like go, look, a straw. At, look at that coconut. <laughs> Put a bamboo straw in. <laughs> 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 I don't think I've ever seen that. You never know. <laughs> Those pandas, they're talented. <laughs> Especially that Kung Fu one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, this is just a public service announcement. Do not boil your eggs in the microwave. What? Don't boil what? your eggs in the microwave. Some people do it. A lot of people do it. And what I happens do is, do you? Don't well, do it. Well, I scramble eggs in the microwave sometimes. Oh, that's yeah. scrambling is different. Scrambling is different. Boil, like scramble. when it's in its shell. See, I, I thought boiling eggs, you need to have like boiling water and you put the egg in the hot water. On the stove top. Yeah, and it boils the egg. But there's some I people that try and... I you could do it in the microwave. You can't. You can't. So don't do it. I was never going to try. Yeah, that I never ne- crossed that, my that, mind. That thought never crossed my mind until this moment. Because, yeah. same here, but because... Um, what happens is, and scientists haven't figured out why, but quite a lot of the time, not every time, but quite a lot of the time it will result in an explosion, but not straight away. So it'll be fine when it's in the microwave. You might even be able to bring it out. Okay. And then after a couple of minutes or after being prodded or eaten, it just explodes (laughs) and the actual inside is way hotter than the the delay explosion, delayed explosion. And the inside is hotter than what, than the boiling water it was cooked in. Um, but it's, they, it's like an incubator then, isn't it? It's something to do with how the... Oh, I, I just thought of a It's like, a, it's like the pressure and there's because <laughs> the space is within the yolk. Yeah. That pressure mounts and then there's like massively, extremely hot pieces of what I don't know. And then is, when you touch it... Is it this for sh- microwaves only? How about if it's a only. Convention, uh, convection microwave? Uh, my, that, any microwave. Don't do it in the microwave. Hey, it makes it unstable. Come up for breakfast, those eggs. 
Because some people, they look it up and they research cook. <laughs> how it's safe to do it on the microwave. And some people say if you put salt in, it will stop it from exploding. But this one young lady recently, which is why it came up on the article, tried it. She put the salt in, but it exploded in her face and half of her face <gasps> is completely like burnt. Pink. But she's Ooh. not the only one it's happened so to. So is she, is she scarred for life? She didn't have scarring, <laughs> but like her f- her skin was coming off, and she had to like fully stay in hospital and get. So it's like a really, really, really bad, really sunburn. bad, or oh, worse than a sunburn. Yeah. Done. So she tried it, but got egg on her face. Yep. <laughs> so whatever you do, do not hold on, hold on. boil <laughs> your eggs in the microwave. That was a. <laughs> oh, egg on her face. Oh, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emma. <laughs> Delayed Did you action. Are you, are you an egg? <laughs> I'm a microwave egg. Are you a microwave egg? Oh. <laughs> Hold on, she might explode. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, the next article is about Jakarta. Now... Jakarta, I think is the fifth or the seventh. I'm not quite sure. I forgot. Let's just have a look. Um, It's a city with 10 million people. And it's built on a marsh below sea level. So there's huge realistic fears that it could disappear. Um, Go under the sea. So what they're trying to do is, and at the moment... It's actually the situation is getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. They're having to bring in water, uh, fresh water, each day by motorcycle, by trucks, um, hand delivered into the villages that well, they're called um, like kampongs. It's like their settlements um, so that they can drink fresh water and use it for like laundry, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so the president there, Joko Widodo, is the president of Indonesia, isn't he? Um, has confirmed now that they have a plan to move Jakarta to Borneo. Wow. So just completely move My Jakarta is this, to Borneo. Where are they going to put Borneo? So Borneo, Borneo is a, like, that will stay, but they are going to inhabit a certain area. So I think they're looking to move to either central Kalimantan or east Kalimantan or south Kalimantan. So one of those, they haven't decided on which one as yet, but they have confirmed that they will be moving. J- Jakarta is moving 10 million people to Borneo. Yeah, yeah but they're not going to do it all in one hit. So Obviously not. That's a lot of trucks. Trucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think over the next, the vision is for that nation state to be fully moved like over the next, like in sections, 10, 50, 100 years, it should be sort of done. How does that, how does that work for like someone that's uh, amassed some like uh, a bit of wealth in Jakarta? How do mm. you, how do you move that to Borneo? How do you, like, what's it like? So, so if, that's a really good point. You know what I mean? Like, if someone's worth like 50 million in Jakarta, He's not going to have that. Because they own 50 million worth of houses. Yeah, of houses. Or like, do you know what I mean? How do they, how does that translate? Mm, like if they got real estate. Well, I don't know, but their, their real estate, I don't know how, like what the, I don't know how much, how expensive it is to buy. Are you buying or are you just building your own place within the kampongs? Like are you. I don't know. Doing it yourself. Oh, what's a kampong? What's a. K- it's their settlements. Let's see if we can find a picture. But it's not like your traditional sort of town, t- like uh, like well, they have there's skyscrapers though, right? Like someone owns a skyscraper. Yeah. In Jakarta. Oh, like in the that actual like CBD. Yeah. Okay, I get what you mean. Yeah. So if someone owns a skyscraper. Uh, that's I worth a lot of money. They're gonna say we don't need this skyscraper anymore. <laughs> We're gonna go over here. Yeah. And they're like, well, what about all the money in that skyscraper? They're like, well. Well, I guess it's that, but also at the end of the day, that skyscraper is going to be going underwater anyway. It's going to be gone. So, well, that's the, but that's the, um, that's, is it definitely going to be gone, or is yeah, that like it's already it's under? Kind of a, so they have it's like under sea level. So like in in Denmark, for instance, or in Holland, sorry, they have a similar problem. That most of it's under sea level, but they're not moving everything. They're just going to build barriers. The difference is, and that's they've already started doing that. There's a massive seawall in Jakarta at the moment. But the difference being, is that in Jakarta, I read a fact. I can't. I don't know where my fact. I it, I think the last in the 
Okay, so in 2018, Indonesia accounted for nearly half of the global deaths from disasters. They where that Whoa. where that is situated, they are getting everything: earthquakes, m- like f- uh, floods, flash flooding. Um, they had the tsunami, like so. So y- many disasters. You know when you said um, Jakarta is on a marsh. That's not that's not anything to do with the plates at all, is it? Is this is this contributed to global warming? I don't know where the plate is near, but it's gotta be fairly close, you would imagine, because they are getting like like the horrible um tsunami that happened. I don't know how close that was though. Yeah, but it's a plate there that keeps getting stuck and it keeps it like hitting yeah. each other. I don't know, but it's just it's pretty crazy. It's a it's big cra- move. It's but it's cr- confirmed that it's gonna happen. Ten million people to just yeah, but like ten million people. That's, that's be another way to. Obviously, they obviously not if they're moving. I, it seems like because it's like it, it's better than doing that, I guess, and just saying, look, this place is gonna go under. You guys better relocate, and then they just have to like mass migration across the country. Yeah, but like, that why be... is the reason like is it because of global warming? It, the it's happening. Are going it's up? happening around yes. the yeah. It's happening around yes. the world. The islands next to. So like, why don't we try to stop global warming? And then these guys won't have the problems. Well, see, well it it's, can't it's, be. It, it's can't. Uh, it's now. It's not a case of you're just going to stop it completely. You have to manage it and try and decrease it to keep it within one point five percent sea level rise. Um, so we're trying to like make sure we minimize it and keep it and try and keep it within one point five. Um, so they can't just completely stop it. In it, like, but they're just trying to minimize it. So wasn't there a documentary where um the one islands disappeared and the king. Or the president bought land in yeah, another country. Yeah, that's still going on. That's still going on. Yeah, yeah, but this is just going to continue to happen to a lot of the countries. Yes. Yes. Until there's actually no more land. Huh? If the sea levels keep rising, more and more countries will be under sea. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. To the point where one day there might not be any land left. Uh, I don't think this is. I think this is more than just. Um, Global warming, though, is it? Is, haven't they got a history so of disasters? Is this what we're saying? History with yeah, like natural disasters. Yeah, like it just—it's just a bad got, place for humans to settle. It's a bad place geographically where they're located, and unfortunately, the global warming is exacerbating the issue. Um, but also on top of that, their types of houses aren't great for um, disasters. I don't think what houses are great yeah. for. Yeah. I don't think you when you go into building a home like hmm, well, there's some I want places it to be earthquake proof. No, yeah, there is no, actually. No, there, there are is, like there is actually. Have... But if there's never been an earthquake there prior, you wouldn't even think of it. Yeah. Whereas yeah. this place, because there's like the there's so many there's a massive population in that area, they're living in those settlements. It's not like properly uh-huh. earthquake earthquake proof homes and Normally stuff like that. There's two approaches when it comes to places which for housing in earthquake areas. Either it's built with a lot of money and it can withstand earthquakes or you build it knowing it's going to fall down completely when an earthquake comes, but it's easy to build again. And oh. actually I missed a vital part of the story out. So also they are running out of the water and the foundations beneath their homes aren't stable because apparently they don't have where they live. They don't have legal access to just a, like a endless supply of water. Right. So what they do is they pay like there's informal vendors that try and get water, but they their practices to get the water is causing large large losses and environmental degradation from how they're like digging down and getting it. So there's like end up with I'm just gonna say caverns, but it's like unstable ground beneath them, and then it's just flooding and stuff like that. Yeah, mm. as well. Wow, big mess. Well, so- <laughs> this place they are. Construction is going to begin in 2021 with the first residents expected to move in 2024. How far is Borneo to from Jakarta? It's is it is it a f- is it a, is it going to be a big sort of Yeah, it's quite a big move, but let's see. Oh, can you see this map on the article? Oh, they've got to cross an ocean. They've got to cross an ocean. This is just not This is a this is a big move. Yes. They need ships not trucks. Yeah. This is, <laughs> yeah. This is like it reminds me of when I when you first said it. I thought about do you ever watch the Ice Age movies? Oh yeah. yeah. It feels like when like there's a disaster and they're all just trying to move out, like yeah. you know, herds of animals are just migration, like, mass migration. The idea that humans have to do that is just like humans don't have to migrate yeah. out of dangerous situations, but 
Apparently we do. This is crazy. But I think you're. I think this is going to be more and more. I think there's like a heap of uh, neighboring countries in Australia. Yeah. We're going to have to take them in. Take mm-hmm. them in. We're going to have to. Which is cool. We can take them in, but uh, until you <laughs> fix the actual problem of what's causing all of this, it's just going to keep happening. Yeah. Well, if the it's, government I don't, didn't, I, I fight don't think so it's much. that simple. Siege. I don't think global warming is that simple. Okay. Like we can't even we can't even solve plastic straws, mate. <laughs> like companies are not willing <laughs> to like you know what I mean. They're not willing to do stuff. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.